Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, I'm Eugene, Senior Consultant of CBS, Canadian Business and Enterprise uh, Services. Uh, we continue with uh, some of our informational videos, but today I want to step a little bit aside from the main line of topics and to talk to you about the recent legislation of uh, legalization of uh, cannabis in Canada, uh, how it affects our workplace, what to do for us as employers, um, how to deal. So, as of October 17, the usage of uh, cannabis, either recreational or medical, is legal in Canada, and many employers come to us with the question, what do I do now? Um, one of my friends just said, what's the problem? We have uh, alcohol usage policy, same thing, we can apply it to cannabis and use it as well. Right and wrong. Why it's wrong? Because there is no medical cognac. There is medical marijuana. And that changes the way that employers must deal with cannabis at the workplace and that imposes a lot of responsibilities on us as employers uh, to provide our employees with um, protective but also non-discriminative workplaces. So I will talk very shortly on a bullet point way uh, about cannabis, what are we supposed to do, how to do it right, I'll show you the way, but if you want we can also help you with creating the policy itself. So first step is as an employer, you must provide your employees with a health uh, and safe workplace, which means you must plan ahead of time, evaluate the risks of your operations and provide uh, mitigation to the risks, to the dangers that your employee is exposed to. One of those risks and dangers is use of cannabis, so you must address uh, that issue by law in a separate policy that will define um, the rules of you as an employer for the workplace, for your employees to follow. Um, I wouldn't suggest everybody to just do no tolerance policy and say no matter what we're against. It will probably not sound so good with the current uh, legal state in Canada. What I would suggest is to do the following steps. Number one, assess the risks of your operations. I would say that um, for smaller businesses, less risky, bakery, coffee shop, the approach should be different from armed couriers, uh, building uh, companies, construction companies, uh, drivers, commercial drivers, and um, the scale can, can go as wide as, as we can imagine. So, first, assess the risks. Are your workers required to work with dangerous equipment that can endanger them or maybe someone else? Are they required to work on heights, like a construction business? Are they required to work in, in tight uh, spaces? Are they required to operate heavy machinery? Either manufacturing, construction, road building, commercial vehicles. Are they required to use dangerous equipment like firearms. All of these should be considered and defined in the policy. Second step, approach the um, recreational cannabis use. You cannot prevent your employees from using it their off time. What you must prevent is from employee coming under influence and risking him, him herself or other employees at the workplace. So define what are the rules. Can't you use uh, before, for how many hours, how the workplace will approach the problem. Third, define special circumstances of no-no. So first thing, despite being legal, there are lots of limitations. So A, you cannot use cannabis at the enclosed workplaces, so offices, warehouses, production plant, no. Second, you cannot use cannabis while operating vehicle, commercial vehicle is absolutely zero tolerance, so no use, no traces of cannabis in the system. Another question, how will they prove it? Road building equipment, same thing. You can also um, limit the use and being under influence in other circumstances like working on heights, using firearms, other risky situations. So define them, 
define how you as employer approach those situations, what are you expecting from employees. Next step, look at the medical usage of marijuana. If your employees work them, uh, use marijuana based on the medical prescription, you cannot prevent them from using marijuana. As an employer, you must accommodate disabilities of your employees, including the use. Think about the accommodation. There is technically the limit to accommodation, which is called undue hardship. Don't make this decision alone. Either get a good advice from a labor lawyer or come to us, we'll talk to you, we'll see how to accommodate the employee up to undue hardship. If you can't accommodate, the employee will have to decide what to do. Very heavy topic, not for today. Define how to use medical marijuana. So if the workplace is enclosed, person cannot smoke, but they still can use edible. Uh, see how to deal with the timing. So I wouldn't want my employee to use medical marijuana in front of the customers. Definitely being medical does not make it legal to use while driving, operating heavy machinery, commercial vehicles, road building equipment. Another heavy topic is abuse. As an employer, you cannot disregard the employee being um, dependent or using cannabis either recreational or medical and having dependency on, on, on that thing. You have to accommodate the situation as well. You have to provide your employees with certain guidelines how to identify. Keep in mind, there are multiple parties who are responsible for keeping your workplace safe. You as an employer, your supervisors and employees each have their own liabilities and responsibilities. So to deal with all these aspects, I would suggest you to prepare a good policy covering all the circumstances, all the special aspects of your business, what is more dangerous, what is more um, safe for your particular situation. If you have more questions, ask them in the comment section below in general. If you have particular questions, go to our website. The link is below, www.cbes.ca. Use the contact us form, send me an email, I will get back to you with the answers. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like if you like, we will provide much more information to help you to deal with current situation. Thank you for being with us, I'll see you soon with the next topic.